Hello, I'm Daniela. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I make an accessory for an art journal, or really a junk journal, a journal where you want to tuck and keep things, and it's very interactive. You'll pull things out, you'll add things to it, you'll attach things. In today's video, I take a store-bought little clothespin that's decorated for, well, in this case, Halloween, but I take it apart and remake it with a paper clip. This way it's more useful for me in my journaling. It's pretty easy to do and if you find some of these cute objects that aren't quite right for your work, you can alter them. So let's get started. So I found these little bags of, they call them novelty clips. They're a bag of 18, each of them. There's a skull and a pumpkin one. And this is what they look like. It's a tiny mini clothespin and it's got a little wooden painted header on it, a little topper, either a skeleton here or like a skull or a jack-o'-lantern. It's really cute. I wanted to use these in my journals, but this clip is really too big for me to use. So I thought of another way to do it. It's very simple and I thought I'd show you how. I wanted to use them in my art journal, so I needed something flatter than this very heavy and bulky, even though it's mini, this paper clip. So to do that, I just used a little paper clip here. I think it's adorable. I need some quick dry glue. You can use school glue if you have patience. I have a little hole punch here. It's uh, 1.5 centimeters, 5 eighths of an inch. It's just a small little circle for the backing. And then I have some um, light cardstock. It's a little heavier than paper, but paper would work just as well. I'm gonna start by taking apart these little clothespins. And to do that, I'm just gonna snap off the image here. So it just takes a moment. I can just pull and pry it out. I'll just do that on a few of these. And then optionally, you can take a little sanding block and just sand off any image that remains or any of the glue that remains. This will make it neater, but it will also make it nicer if anything's exposed on the back. So I'll just do that on a few of those. So that's pretty much the hardest part, is getting this pristine and ready to operate. Now from there, I like to do a batch at a time. So I'll just turn them on their backs here. And I can do this assembly line fashion. I just take a little dab of this glue. This happens to be an Aileen's Rapid Dry Glue. But like I said, a school glue or a white glue would work. Fabric tack would work. And I put a nice blob of glue do three at a time here. Set them down. And then I take my clip and the part that forms the U I need to keep on the bottom. I'll just set it down there. I could play around with which clip I use. Make sure it's secure in the glue. And now you could leave it like that, but I like to finish it off. So I just take some of this black paper and I'll punch a few. And then while the glue is wet, I can just set it right on top. And if the glue has dried or if there's not enough glue, I'll just add another dab of glue to that paper. And it just gives the back a nice finished look. Now on these, the back is a little smaller than the circle. So I just cut it off. As long as it's neat looking, it'll work just as well. So I'll add a little glue. My paper clip. And then I can just add my little topping piece. And now I let them dry, and then they'll be all ready to use in my work. I can set those little clips aside. And so when they're all dry and complete, you can put them on a little card to hold them, or just in a little bin. And I think they came out really well. They're far more usable for me this way than on those little clothespins. So it's just something to think about, a different way to use a product, just to make it more usable for you. So that's how I alter the piece for my work. I think they look adorable when they're combined all together, just in a little pouch, 
but they also look great inside my journal. It's a nice way to tuck things. I have a little thing that sticks out. I can use it as a tab for my page or a guide, and I can tuck something inside that paperclip, so it's super useful. And if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. And please consider becoming a paid member of my channel, where I give behind the scenes footage, additional techniques, and art lessons as well. Thanks for joining me today.